Angela Hill. And I'm Dennis Waltering. Nearly 900 jobs may soon be in jeopardy in downtown New Orleans if the U.S. Postal Service gets its way. Today it announced the closure of the mail processing center behind the main post office. Paul Murphy reports local leaders call the move ill-advised and plan to fight to keep the facility open. The U.S. Postal Service plans to mothball the mail sorting and distribution facility in downtown New Orleans. It's one of 254 processing centers and 3,700 post offices nationwide expected to close to help offset a business loss of about $23 million a day. The New Orleans facility and a smaller one in Lafayette would transfer operations to a processing center in Baton Rouge. The local Postal Workers Union yeah. president says the move doesn't make sense. Because it's really unheard of to see a large facility being absorbed by a smaller facility, and usually vice versa. The closure would cost the city 880 good paying jobs. The union president says there are not enough postal vacancies in the region to make up for the losses in New Orleans. That's going to be a hurdle for the Postal Service to, uh, to address. U.S. Senator Mary Landrieu and Congressman Cedric Richmond were in Algiers this afternoon to help award new market tax credits at Federal City. They say Congress will get a chance to weigh in on the postal cuts before they are scheduled to take effect May 15th. I agree with the mayor that this is ill-advised. It doesn't make sense, and we've put a lot of investment in that corridor downtown for them to now come in and uh, take all of those jobs out. There are ways to streamline the post office, make it more entrepreneurial, and not lose these important jobs abruptly. The decision to shut down the New Orleans facility comes after a five-month study by the Postal Service. The Postal Union official says local customers will feel the brunt of the cuts in the form of slower mail service. So many times you got to take the mail, bring it to Baton Rouge, bring it back to the city of New Orleans. That's ridiculous. That's not a cost-saving measure. Mayor Mitch Landrieu had this to say about the expected shutdown of the New Orleans Processing Center. We understand that the USPS needs to cut costs, but it must, be, must do so in a smart and sustainable way. USPS must go back to the drawing board, conduct a broader analysis of the wisdom of shuttering the New Orleans facility. So is it doesn't, any, sound, it doesn't any, sound like it's over with yet. No, no, but what is the time frame? Well, they can't do anything before May 15th. Mm -hmm. And between now and then, there'll be a lot of Congress mm -hmm. folks like Cedric Richmond and uh, Mary Landrieu that will sit, sit down with postal officials and talk about this to see if this is the best course of action. Okay.